Hello, and welcome to the Addix Composite Couplings installation video. When installed and maintained properly, Addix Composite Couplings will provide years of reliable operation and performance. The following tools will be required to perform the installation. Before taking any action, safety must first be addressed. Adorn the proper PPE and ensure the worksite is safe by performing lockout and tagout. After taking the necessary safety precautions, the first step is to confirm all the required parts are supplied. The complete coupling assembly will include the composite center spacer or tube, two patented Attics flexible elements, two stainless steel hubs, and the required hardware. New couplings are shipped from the factory in fully assembled condition. Next, it is important to verify the integrity of the connecting components. The two shaft ends, hub bores, and key slots should be inspected to ensure there are no burrs. Confirm that the shaft keys fit into their respective shafts. Finally, the shaft end separation, or distance between shaft ends, should be measured to verify it matches the supplied Addix coupling. The Addix DBSE can be confirmed by measuring the distance or by consulting the supplied drawing. As new couplings are shipped fully assembled, some disassembly is required to perform the installation. Using a pair of wrenches, begin by removing the hub and flex element at each end from the center spacer. This is achieved by removing the bolts inserted through the small bolt holes in the center spacer flange. Complete the disassembly at both ends. Both hub and flex element assemblies should now be disconnected from the center spacer. Addix coupling hubs are intended to be mounted using a clearance fit, also known as a slip fit. The hubs should fit snugly onto the shafts, but still slide freely. Begin by sliding each hub and flex element assembly onto its respective shaft. At one end, leave at least one inch of shaft exposed to allow clearance for spacer installation. Position the other hub such that the flange face is flush with the shaft end as shown. Beginning at the end where the hub flange face is positioned flush with the shaft end, Install the center spacer by aligning the large bolt holes in the spacer flange around the bolts and nuts. Pull the remaining bolts through the corresponding flange holes. Repeat this process at the other end, pulling the hub assembly forward so that the bolts are inserted through the corresponding flange holes. Next, place the overload bushings around the bolts and thread the lock nuts on. Repeat this process on both hubs. All lock nuts should be tightened to these appropriate torque values. A torque wrench should be used on the lock nut while the head of the bolt is held in place. Once all the lock nuts are properly tightened, assembly is complete and proper alignment must be verified. To ensure good performance and lifetime of the Addix composite coupling, the coupling must be aligned properly. Shown here are the angular and axial alignment limits for Addix composite couplings. There are several methods to check alignment, including the use of laser alignment tools. In this video, angular alignment will be checked using a dial indicator and a caliper will be used to check axial alignment. To check axial alignment, a caliper should be used to measure the gap between the spacer and hub flanges on each coupling end. Without rotating the coupling, take four readings around the perimeter at 90 degree intervals as shown. For each coupling end, compare the average of the four readings to the specified axial alignment limit. If this calculated average exceeds the specified limit, the corresponding hub must be repositioned and axial alignment re-verified. To check angular alignment using a dial indicator, begin by squarely attaching the dial indicator to the center spacer shaft. The reading should be taken off the outside face of the coupling hub flange as shown. With the dial indicator set at zero, 
check the angular alignment by slowly rotating the shaft 360 degrees, recording the maximum and minimum readings of the dial indicator. If the range between the maximum and minimum values is greater than the specified limit, then the connecting equipment should be realigned to attain these limits. Once alignment is finalized and confirmed to be within limits, ensure that the set screws on both hubs have been properly tightened to their specified torque values. Thank you for viewing the Addix Composite Coupling installation video. For more information or documentation, please visit rexnord.com.